I'm Zainab uh, from Turkey. I'm a research assistant on a SALAT project. Uh, my advisors are Rafael Loreiro and Gina Mishra. And I will talk about today um, SALAT project and its uh, research of fruiting plants. And my talk uh, will be about a space agriculture laboratory analysis database project and how we are building the database and what are the parts of curating plants and a recap. And then I will talk about young, young scientist program, Astrobiology for Kids. And what is SALAD? Uh, SALAD is uh, an abbreviation uh, of space agriculture laboratory analysis database. And it's a database project and consisting of all the crops which has been conducted on space conditions. And it will be free online database. And uh, what it contains, what, what, what is the uh, contents of this database? Uh, it includes leafy green lettuce studies and US versus Russian space program experiments and calorie dense crops, which are uh, starchy uh, vegetables and grains, and long life cycle seed to seed studies, seed exposure studies, food crop uh, phototropism effects, and food crop gravitropism effects, and high nutrient uh, yield crops. Uh, in this part, I'm uh, helping to Sarah and Tiantin. And these crops are uh, brassicas, microgreens, brightly colored root vegetables. And my part is uh, fruiting plants, which are tomatoes, peppers, strawberries. And the last part, medicinal ornamental plants. And we have some step points uh, here, a number of studies and type of plant by year. And these are actually <laughs> a little bit hard points for us because we are still uh, dealing with these problems. A number of studies and type of plant by location, class, and growth chamber and plane of those. And qualitative life cycle uh, figure, we uh, concluded with four categories, but we are not sure about it now. An additional appropriateness figure, we don't know how to do it. And ratio, yes, timeline, uh, we should figure out this also. And how do we create database? We have a master crop list, which is created by Gina first. And now we are uh, adding new info information on it. We are reading uh, articles, uh, and then we are taking the information and uh, summarizing them and adding here. And then we are going to database part. And in the database uh, form, we are adding an ID for those informations coming from uh, this master crop list. And we are going uh, to object of investigation here. We are giving another number, uh, which is required for here. Uh, instance ID for plants. Uh, we are doing more <laughs> so much uh, forms for that, but it's uh, required. And here we are also giving same research ID which we used here. And we are using some uh, codes for location and exposure. Uh, here we have a growth stage, exposure, and location. For example, this location code is for biosatellite 2. We uh, are included them here, but I didn't show those pictures. And what is the part of your think plants? Everyone knows what are they. So I am uh, I will talk about what I looked for this project. Uh, I I have some questions and those are, what is the effect of microgravity on germination? What is the effect of radiation on germination? How do crops behave when they are in the space? How long does the experiment last? And where is the experiment conducted? Uh, spacecraft, satellite, or after a space trip on the ground? And what are the results? And as a recap, uh, we, uh, we deeply looked uh, into biological results on the, on the topics of space research. And we are building a helpful tool with those informations for space agriculture. And we have effectively multidisciplinary working group. And uh, the second part of my talk today, Young Scientist Program, Astrobiology for Kids. Uh, it's a combined lessons for curious preteens from uh, all around the world by helping each other to get better teaching. And uh, first, we introduce 
ourselves and then uh, we discuss our topics and then we formed groups and we make some friends and we had fun and each lesson uh, was two hours period and also before every teaching session we had always one prep uh, preparation session and it was it lost six weeks and every week we had two teaching sessions totally it was 12 teaching session with uh, uh 29 uh, participants and here we i have put a table for our groups here my uh you can see my group microbiology and astrobiology was our topic and our group name was micro astro and i was uh, uh my teammates were ryan and maddie and what we talk about there, uh, we talk about microbiology, Ex actually not microbiology, astro-microbiology. And I was the uh, first talker in that lesson and I made an introduction to astrobiology and astro-microbiology. What are the microbes, what kind of microbes we know and which, are, uh, which, which one of them are conducted on the space experiment. And then Ryan talked about how can we find microbes in our solar system. And maybe got a little bit more specific uh, part. And he, she talked about lichens in space. Can lichens survive in the space? And thank you for listening to me today. Uh, I am so excited <laughs> to have that chance to talk here. Yay, great job. Um, thank some you. Really cool things to work on. So you're working on salad and you worked on the ask program. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of things happened with the ask program with teaching the students and everything this summer. I, I wasn't part of it. Yeah. I had responsibilities, but I'm curious for you, what was one of the best things from teaching and what was one of, one of the biggest challenges? Actually, biggest challenge and best thing was same for me. Uh, ki kids were so curious and sometimes they ask so uh, so creative questions <laughs> that I don't know, <laughs> even don't have any idea. That was so good because they helped me to teach also because I looked in that video and I asked myself, wow, how they can think that thing. And then I searched for those questions answers. And then I learned also, this was best challenge and best part for me. Awesome, yeah, I've, I've always found that children ask the fun questions and the hard questions. Yeah. Time, often. Yeah. Do we have other questions? I see Sanjoy has raised his hand. Go ahead, Sanjoy. Hey, Zeneb, thank you very much for this very excellent presentation. I agree yeah. with you when I give uh, talks to, to kids, I get better questions most of the time than I do when I speak to university students. So I, I yeah. echo that, uh, that experience. My question is regarding uh, salad. How, uh -huh. far, how far are you, is your team to uh, completing the database? Or actually, is it we useful are so, for science? I'm sorry. Uh, actually, we are so close to finish it. Uh, um, our um, com um, computer part is uh, conducted by Luke and Trenton mostly and uh, we had so much work on it and we are so close to finish but I think they need to do some more job also but <laughs> it was also really good to work on that project 